Welcome guys and today we are going to answer the question what kind of static site generator is the best one for you. So I have the feeling that a lot of people right now are searching for static site generator and the reason for this is very simple. A lot of people are using WordPress however for lots and lots of pages you don't really need WordPress because most of the pages are static websites. So what's the difference between a static website and a dynamic website where you for instance use WordPress? Well a static website is one where the content stays the same until someone manually changes it. Every time you visit you will see the same thing unless the owner updates it. Think of it like a like a flyer. It won't change unless someone creates a new version. And I know what you might be thinking. This is exactly what you do with your WordPress website. And that's also the reason why you don't need WordPress because you probably have a static website and thus you can use a static site generator, which comes with the advantage that it's not hackable. It's very fast and you can basically host it for free on Netlify or on GitHub pages. But what is a dynamic website on the other hand? So a dynamic website changes based on who is visiting or what's happening at that moment. So it pulls data from a database and it shows different content to different users. So think of it like Facebook or for instance an online shop. Every time you log in the content adjusts and shows you updates. So a dynamic website change and respond to user input and a static website stays the same. It's fixed and it's probably a website you've been using all the time. And that is why a static site generator might be a good idea for you. And that's where Astro comes in actually, because besides Astro, you have, for instance, Jekyll, you have Gatsby.js. All of these are good static site generators. However, what Jekyll does differently, and that's also one reason why I recommend it personally, is that you have the option to go dynamic in the end. So you can start by building a static site, but if you want to go dynamic and if you want, for instance, to use Next.js, right, and pull data from a database or even use WordPress, you can do that. Astro gives you the option. So you have like the best of two worlds. So just in case you would like to see how a Astro website looks like, you can go to my channel and I have a video there where I built a static site with Astro.js from start to finish and also hosted on GitHub where you can host your pages completely for free, which technically is also very, very good for SEO if you do SEO. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Like this video if you can, as always, make sure to subscribe. And other than that, I hope this is going to be a helpful one for you and see you in the next one.